Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Pharma Fun For Us. This channel is my attempt to make pharmacy really fun, easy and understandable to learn. And this is actually my New Year's resolution to start up a new channel and make all the videos and include all the videos for free with respect to pharmacy. And this channel would be dedicated to all the people who are aspiring to become a pharmacist who want to be a pharmacist and who are already pursuing pharmacy and want to know what is the future, what is the future of pharmacy, what career can they, what career growth can they expect after completing their courses, uh, whether it's B pharmacy or pharma D, whatever they're doing. And then uh, I am Abedunisa Begum. I have, I am a pharmacist by profession. I have done B pharmacy and then I have completed M pharmacy in pharmaceutics. I am also a technical trainer and a soft skills trainer. So this is about me. Now getting back to the video. This video that uh, I am posting today is all about the study of pharmacy. Just the introduction part of it, all you need to know. So let us see what are we going to learn in this. We are going to learn about uh, what all are included in pharmacy, what is the study of pharmacy, what are the roles and responsibilities of a pharmacist, and then the different branches that are included in pharmacy, scope, what can be the future, what are the opportunities available for pharmacists and the courses that are available to be a pharmacist. So let's get started. Pharmacy is a study or it's a practice of extracting the medicine, the drug from different resources. It can be a plant resource or it can be a chemical resource, plant or any natural resource and or any chemical resource. Then uh, the compounding of the drug, the testing and the research and development, and then the preserving and dispensing of the medicine. This complete procedure is what you study in pharmacy. So the pharmacists are the people who practice pharmacy, who study pharmacy. They are responsible for the complete process that takes place, the preparation of the drugs into different dosage forms. Dosage forms include tablets, syrups, capsules, and uh, injection, sterile solution for injection. And then you have syrups. So all of these are included. They are also responsible for the complete packaging. The packaging can be also of different types. So, and dispensing. For dispensing the medicine, they have to follow different guidelines. So uh, the guidelines can include the explanation of the prescription to the patient, the arrangement of the medicines uh, in the pharmacy, and <clears throat> what temperature are the medicines have to be kept in. So these are all the different guidelines which we will study further. So the services provided by pharmacy practitioners include the improving the use of medicine, product focused services and public health services. And now let's go to the branches. Let us see what are the different branches that are included in pharmacy, study of pharmacy. They are pharmaceutics, pharmacology, pharmacognosy, medicinal chemistry and pharmacy practice. In pharmaceutics, you will learn the process of extracting of the medication or the drug, the compounding of the drug and the research and development, the test, different tests that are carried out. The, and in this pharmaceutics, you will also decide what is the dosage form. It's uh, like whether it is a capsule, a tablet, a syrup or a sterile solution for injection. And then you will be packing it. The packaging is also included in pharmaceutics. So by definition, it's the process of creating the dosage form. Dosage form is capsule or tablet, etc. of a therapeutic that is to be used by the patient. So that is all about pharmaceutics. Coming to pharmacology, to put it into simple words, it's the study of what body does to the drug and what drug does to the body. It, uh, this process starts from the administration of the drug. So first you'll study about the, after the administration of the drug, what happens to it? The absorption of it into the body, the distribution, metabolism and excretion. The complete process is studied, how the drug 
uh, is absorbed, distributed, metabolized and excreted? And how does the body respond to it? All this is included in pharmacology. And pharmacology is not only in a, is a subject in pharmacy, it's also a subject in medicine, MBBS or PTS also. Coming to pharmacognosy, in this you will study about the different natural resources of a drug. The drug can be extracted from natural resources or plant resources. Specifically, plant resources is what you will study in pharmacognosy. The mechanism of action of the drug, the different reactions and uh, the different uses, everything uh, of the drugs extracted from the plant source is what you will study in pharmacognosy. Then you have medicinal chemistry. In medicinal chemistry, you will study about the drugs that are extracted from chemicals. As the name itself suggests, medicinal chemistry, the medicines that are made in the, made from the chemicals. So in this, uh, it's actually a study that includes the design, development and synthesis of pharmaceutical drugs. So here you will again be studying about the different mechanism of action of each chemical. And you will also be learning about the development of the drug and how it reacts, the different chemicals react with each other. Then coming to pharmacy practice, pharmacy practice includes all the guidelines that are included in the running of a drugstore, how the pharmacies function, and uh, what are the different guidelines or the rules that you have to follow to run a pharmacy. How do you explain the prescription to the patient? What are the ways to store medicines in a drugstore? How do you arrange them? And what are the temperatures that they have to be stored in? What are the prescription drugs? And what are the over-the-counter drugs? Everything you'll be learning in this subject. Let's go ahead and see what is the scope and what are the opportunities that pharmacists find in the field. They, uh, they find opportunities in both research and development as well as in drug stores. That is the dispensing of the medication. Now, let us see what are the few of the companies that offer opportunities in research. In India, some of them are Lupin, Cipla, Piramal, Dr. Reddy's, Biocon, Sun Pharmaceuticals, etc. Then the international companies or the MNCs, they are Pfizer, GlaxoSmithKline or GSK, Sanofi, Merck, Novartis, AstraZeneca and so on. So <clears throat> these are the companies that are there in research. Um, there are also different drug stores that offer opportunities to pharmacists. There are different hospitals where you find opportunities as hospital pharmacist. You can be either a clinical pharmacist there is also a field of medical coding or medical transcription where you find opportunities in. And uh, uh, there is also this medical content writer. There are different opportunities available which we will be learning in the further videos. Then coming to the different courses, they are B Pharmacy, D Pharmacy, Pharma D and M Pharmacy. B Pharmacy is the Bachelor of Pharmacy. It's a four years of course and uh, this is an undergraduate degree program where you will learn about all the <clears throat> branches that we, have learned, that we have just seen, the pharmacology, pharmaceutics, pharmacognosy, medicinal chemistry and the pharmacy practice. You will go through all of these and you will also have to do a project and there will be an industrial training that will be carried out. The eligibility criteria to do this course is uh, you have to complete your 10 plus 2 and there is an entrance exam for this where it can be an MSET or NEET. So you need to crack that to get an admission into B Pharmacy. Then you have Diploma in Pharmacy or D Pharmacy. It's a two years of diploma course. It does not have any entrance test. You can just get admission into D Pharmacy. So diploma in pharmacy is enough for you to start up a drugstore. Then you have or a doctor of pharmacy that is PharmaD. It's a professional degree. It's a doctorate degree of six years in total, inclusive of five years of learning and one year will be your internship for practical learning. This is also uh, 
I mean, this requires the eligibility criteria of 10 plus 2 is what you need to complete. And then there is the entrance exam again. It can be MSET or NEET, which you have to crack to get admission into Doctor of Pharmacy. People usually tend to get confused between D Pharmacy and Pharma D. There is a huge difference between them. I hope that's clear for now that D Pharmacy is a diploma while Pharma D is a doctorate degree. Coming to the M Pharmacy, it's a Master of Pharmacy, full time, two years long postgraduate course. And the eligibility for this is you have to complete the graduation degree in B Pharmacy and you have to crack an entrance exam of GPAT or PGSET. So there is an academy called as NIPER, National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research, where you, uh, it's a very reputed academy for which you need to clear your GPAT with a very good score, with a very good rank to get admission into. If you want to do M Pharmacy over there, you can get directly into research from there. So we will learn about that as well in the further videos. Thank you very much for watching the video. Let me know if you have any queries and if you have any suggestions for me to post and if you want any uh, specific topics. So I would be really happy to post them. Thank you very much. Hope you like the video.